Hello, and in this video, I wanted to um, address um, the concept of um, judgment, um, both um, within the judgment for the condemnation of self, but then also within the judgment for the condemnations of those around us. And so uh, part of personal awareness and part of us walking um um, in our sovereign being is to realize that at times we walk within judgment right um, and the judgment has kind of has kind of been ingrained within us from early childhood development um, just by mere nature of us seeing others deliver comments unto those around us um, as a norm right um, I grew up in the environment where um you know, we were, we were poor, uh, we didn't have much. And so the judgment there uh, was uh, almost tied to greed, right? Um, but in honesty, that greed was tied to survival, right? So as um, gr growing up in, uh, uh, growing up in Soviet Ukraine, right, back, back in the 80s, right? I remember ourselves struggling for you know everyday survival and i'm not saying like will i where will i sleep today so the shelter was taken care of but like where will i get my food right will i have enough money for next week or the week after that right um and even at the time where the money wasn't the issue the ability to receive the supplies to live on day to day basis was an issue right and not necessarily even that we didn't have money but the supplies were not available in um at grocery stores right uh, or they were so finite that they would you know they would get um bribed out to to the circles of friends around right and so even though at an early age i did not understand the economics of the country or the economics of our you know social social concepts um i did understand this judgment based on greed or based on survival right and so that is one type of judgment right is my survival is in danger right in some way you name it right um and then therefore what someone else else has is a direct takeaway from my uh, ability to survive right so and that is the judgment i was well familiar with i could not quantify that at the time or could not verbalize the the backing of that type of judgment but it was very much there right so the basic survival is in question and then therefore everyone out there literally everyone is somehow your enemy right you're somehow judging what they have what they you don't have or what they have what they don't have based on then therefore relation to what i have or i will not have right kind of <laughs> having to realize that right now it, it sounds absolutely absurd and silly um you know but that is the, this judgment that i'm well familiar in my three-dimensional space right and so th that is just one concept of judgment right but at the same time there's other judgments of um where we we walk and somebody's behaving a certain way right um and so at the core, you would go, oh, well, you know, I, I condemn them for that behavior, right? Or I condemn them for doing that or saying that based on whatever, right? And we usually, we usually make up an excuse of why we're condemning someone else or judging someone else um, for, and, and, you know, for, for whatever action they're come out to be, right? But, but just like my scenario of, being in the survival mode and the judgment is based on my personal lack right i'm judging and i'm evaluating guess why is because my survival is uh, you know is at risk um in the same way that any other judgment um that you might have uh, in the process of living right in the process of walking in the process of looking and going oh you know i don't like that about them uh, actually comes down to that same internal thicket within us of something else right and so i i love that because the most the most easiest way right the most um the most purest way for us to gain consciousness is to simply acknowledge the time right and all the moments where we draw judgment right where where we draw judgment onto someone else and not and not 
Um, and within that acknowledgement, it is important not to just let go and go, and, oh, hey, I'm just being bad here, right? That that was my first approach, right? My first approach to realize, oh, I'm judging, right? And then my thought process is, oh, that's bad, right? I'm, I'm, I was aware enough to where I could catch my judgment. Uh, but but at the same time, I was not aware enough to follow through into this uh, rabbit hole of what's behind it, right? And so the key, really the key uh, if in the awareness is not to simply recognize that you're judging and then in some shameful or some convoluted way go, go away, go away, right? Like just cut that thought off. Uh, and the let it let it be right, almost like shut off your being from even be able to to follow that thought. Um, but but actually to go further and to go why right? What what is this about this particular instance or this about particular person right or this group of people or that country or or I don't know you know you name it right we judge everything and anything uh, what is it about that causes me in this particular moment to experience the the emotions of judgment right and then you know it is easy to go oh I shouldn't judge that's silly uh, and then go away and you know and have it revert back but I can tell you through experience and through the general path of enlightenment, that same judgment will just keep, you know, keep coming right back, right? So simply, simply acknowledging it and let it be is not the turning off point of judgment. Um, the turn off point of judgment is one, acknowledge, two, evaluate why you're judging, right? And so, and, and you know, I will not be able to take every single concept of why we judge and narrow it down to your specific instance of what where does it hit in the core from you right but but through my example of somebody else having something and me not right I could go oh that's silly I'm judging them for having that car or that's silly I'm judging them for having that house right well no so in that example then I would extrapolate and go why? Why do I care if they have that house? So why do I care that how? How is their behavior or their lifestyle or their actions in any way reflecting me? Right, mm -hmm. and so I would, I would then narrow that path right and follow that rabbit hole of where it hits really, really hard. Right, and it hits hard in well. Guess what? I don't know whether or not I will ever have that house. I will not know whether I will ever have food on the table for tomorrow, right? I will not, I don't know whether tomorrow I will be able to feed my family and, you know, survive the winter based on the type of heat or electricity we have coming into the house, right? I, all, of, I mean, all of these examples are my personal examples, right? But that is something that can relate to, right? And so that judgment, right, it is actually coming from uh, an embedded fear right and embedded pain of of what could happen right if i'm if i'm not feeding my family tomorrow right if it's coming from what will happen if this winter we do not have enough harvest from the field to to be able to sustain uh, in ourselves right what, what if i am not able to get milk and ha provide proper nutrients for my child right and so when once you narrow that down and it it hits a lot deeper. It hits a lot um, more painful, I guess, if I would verbalize it in a three-dimensional sense, than the simple judgment, right? The judgment is almost like this defense mechanism that we throw out there going, oh, look, I can say something negative about them and then not have to feel what I feel inside myself, right? But then, so use that judgment, use that, that throw point to go, wait, wh what am I actually feeling inside, right? What what is them having in that car do to me, right? Am I in pain that I'm not driving that car? Am I in pain that I do not have the same quality of a home that they have, right? So if your basic needs are being met, you have a car, they have a car, what does it matter, right? But the truth is somewhere deep inside, there's a wounded child, right, crying out for help that that car carries some sort of... um status symbol right of of them be having achieved something in their life right i'm i'm reaching far and wide here as far as concepts go uh but right them having to achieve something in life that you have might not have achieved up until this point right 
um, we had a car growing up, right? So I, I'm kind of like reversing that, um, that judgment is, I know our family was judged for the fact that we had a car when most people, we did not have a car. And so we were, we were looked at as, you know, the, those people with the car, and that car wasn't great. Uh, but you know, in, in Soviet, in Soviet Ukraine, getting a car was like almost a miracle, right? And so we were in line for years and years and years. And, and so having that car, it was just like, whoa, you know, and on, we say, I think my parents saved it on a four people's salary. So it's kind of a, a side anecdote here, but, but right. And, but we were, we were the, the, the rich people with a car. Well, we were not rich. We just happened to get on the line and waited for several years and had enough money between the four people working full time to, you know, to purchase this car. Uh, but it, again, if you are judging the car, right, what, what does that do? Oh, well, they're rich, right? But why, why does it matter that they're rich? Well, dot, 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 I don't feel whole inside. I don't feel like I'm rich. Well, then, then you go dot, dot, dot. Is it actually about being rich? Is it, is it the money, right? If you had, you know, $5 billion tomorrow, would your circumstances today change, right? Well, and you go, well, no, richness equates to what, right? And then you will be able to take that further in and go, well, richness a lot of time equates to me feeling like I am complete, right? Me feeling like I am, I have succeeded, I have come about, right? Uh, and then you would go dot, dot, dot. What does it mean to me right now not have succeeded and not come about, right? What is my definition of success, right? And then you would go dot, dot, dot. Definition of success is then having money, right? And having prestige and having and having others ooh over me going, oh, look, they have a car and they have the house and they have the, I don't know what else people would judge. Uh, but, you know, and so you can, you can extrapolate that out, right? But then, but then again, you extrapolate that further in, you go, guess what? When I was growing up, you know, we were the poor ones, right? Or we were rich, but somebody rubbed something in my face, right? That they had something better than us, right? They had the PlayStation 2 and I had a PlayStation 1. I don't actually know if that's the case, but let's, let's name it. Um... Right. And so that wounded child comes through, right? That need for validation, that need for, I am good, right? I am worthy. I'm worthy of, and you know, here's the kicker of love because, you know, I have this car because I have this house. Uh, I'm, I'm successful and therefore I'm admired, right? And I'm admired, therefore, you know, people like me, right? Because when I was a child, I wasn't liked, right? So, you know, I could say judgment and then this, this whole concept and you would go, oh, you know, yes, obviously it's bad to judge, uh, but, but it is there, right? It is there for a purpose. Uh, and it is there to give us a time to pause and actually provide us with an opportunity to go deeper within, right? And to, to identify the wounded child, right? To identify, uh, really everything that we came here to experience uh, on our road to self-recognition, right? And that's what I love about uh, our three-dimensional opportunities, right? The, these these concepts that we, we dive in and then we have definitions of goods and bad, but all of it is there for us to delayer ourselves and to be able to go, oh, I here here's an opportunity for me to evaluate myself from my core, right? This is the lesson that I have come here to learn, right? This is the lesson that I've come here to recognize, to be um, the wounded child, right? And to to feel what it feels like to be wounded and spend 20, 30, 40 years of your life striving to to facilitate or mask off that feeling uh, that that is in fact driving all my action, right? All your actions are, are being driven by that wounded child. And so judgment, I, I think it's a, it's a great leeway for you to start uncovering your truth, right? Um, to start uncovering of what is it that actually sits as your filter of things uh, that you're honestly keeping yourself from seeing, right? What, what, what parts of yourself are you trying to cover up um, that would cause you to evaluate and to see yourself in true light um, and judgment is, is a perfect, just absolutely perfect example of what you can start with. 
um, in order to start delayering, right? Who do we judge and why, right? And then that why just trickles and trickles and trickles and trickles. And I know it is hard for some people to to go, to take the concept of judgment and then go why and be able to narrow those things down to, okay, well, you know, here's a, um, here's a concept and they can go, oh, why? Because of this. But because of that, guess what? Is layered with another layer and another layer and another layer. And so as you gain clarity, right, and as you gain insight, um, you will be able to go into deeper and deeper layers, right? Um, to to quote, you know, Shrek, like an onion, <laughs> right? Uh, you know, onions have layers and, and we have layers. So that delayering of self uh, then takes us to the core, right? And the core is our wounded child. Um, you know, a lot of people shy away from that concept, um, but it is the essence of us, right? At the core, uh, when before we could judge things from what they were, right? Before we have cognitive understanding of ourselves as a mature being, right? In our childhood, we 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 saw things and then we classified them right we classified them oh that hurt right I don't know why I don't know where it's gonna go but we filed it in right we filed it into our heart going oh that hurts right uh and so we saw another thing or another thing happened to us right and you go oh that hurts right but you don't have the maturity to process that or to to, to even acknowledge what's happening, right? So guess what you do? You, you take take this pain and you, you kind of bury it in there in your little pocket of love, right? Or your heart center. And so so through through our uh, personal journeys, right, we have collected these little things, uh, these little pains, these little hurts that then we classify as, oh, you know, we'll bury that deep down and we won't look at it, Right. But guess what? It's still there, right? It's still kind of rotting away. Uh, the inside of the onion is kind of pulsating, going, hey, let's start delaying, right? And so sooner or later in your life, if you're watching this video, um, you're obviously on that path already, you are, you needed to delayer the onion, right? And how, and, and judgment is, is the great way to start delaying, right? To start unraveling. So I want to take away the stigma from the word of the wounded child, uh, like it almost within itself uh, brings in some sort of idea that something's wrong, that you're wounded. No, the whole point of your life is to be wounded as a child so then you can layer yourself up uh, and then at some point uh, in goal of self-recognition, right, start starts to layering those layers, right? And that's I mean, how beautiful is that, right? That uh, we create this concept, we design it, we we feed it, we feed its soul, uh, and believe it, and marry it, uh, and then and then at some point, you know, we're here watching this video, uh, and then and then the beauty of it starts to shine through, right? And so, also another way I would take it is look at age judgment as an opportunity, like a beautiful opportunity for you to find yourself. Don't bury it. I mean, don't don't let it go and go, okay, la, 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 I didn't just do that, which, I, you know, at some point in my life, I, I, I was there like, oh, let's just stop judging. Let's just, look, that's the wrong thing to do and that's it, right? No, uh, just take it, take it where it's supposed to go. You know, why, why is that judgment happening, right? What is the concept behind that judgment that is causing you to, to do what is it that you're doing in your life? So, um, I guess... Happy not judging slash judging. Uh, and, uh, and I hope this is helpful. So come back for more videos. I think I will be extrapolating on the layering of the onion uh, in others as well. So 